Hi everybody, my name is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm here in front of a project that my company completed about a year ago. A couple of my carpenters are back doing some service and I wanted to take a minute to do a quick video on a product that we used on this uh, project that I would not used before. I'm talking specifically about Cetal's 123 uh, exterior stain product. This house that's behind me is about an 800 square foot uh, guest house, pool house, cabana. It's kind of a multi-purpose uh, little little house. We're, we're on the backside of a Travis Heights uh, neighborhood here. And uh, Rick and Cindy Black were the architects on the project. The siding that you see behind me is Douglas fir. It's not used a whole lot for exterior siding and we really wanted to make sure that that siding, um, as pretty as that wood was, was maintained um, and we wanted to put a product on there that was going to be really long lasting because uh, deck stains and exterior wood has a tendency to fade. So two things that I want to note before we get up and look at it. Number one, the architect did a great job of not bringing that wood siding all the way down to the ground. One of the things that really hurts wood siding is by getting splashback or sprinklers that are wetting it on a continual basis. And so the architects did a really nice job of taking our concrete slab on grade, which is about the first eight inches out of the ground, then taking a smooth stucco for a skirt, which is basically from the windowsill down. So we've got about 24 inches or so of that. So that wood is well off the ground and well protected. Let's go have a closer look here. Okay, so now we're a little bit closer on the siding. This Cetal 123 product, a couple of things really came together well on this project. Number one, we were able to put the Cetal 1 on all these boards before the carpenter got here. Very important to coat all six sides of your board, your, all your faces, and your cut ends need to have that CTOL 1 on it. The step 2 we did after it was installed and I believe the CTOL 3 is a maintenance step that can be done in the future. Where, as I said we've installed this over a year ago and it still looks like the day we installed it. Absolutely beautiful. A couple details from the architect that really helped this um, project look so good even a year later. Number one, we didn't try and miter the corners. This is an outside corner that's made from uh, paint grip metal. We had this bent at a sheet metal company. And if you'll zoom in here, you can see that actually um, wraps around to the corner and there's where that, that metal ends. So we're able to just do regular straight cuts on this we, and we treated those end cuts. If we did miters on this, I'd be concerned that we'd have some movement in the future. So we didn't have to do miters, which was great. The other thing we did was we laid this on a rain screen. I don't know if you can tell, but there's about a, I don't know, somewhere between a 3 8 quarter inch gap in between every one of these boards and there's about a three-quarter air space back there. There's uh, wood uh, verticals about every 24 or so inches here and then we actually nailed this. We talked about some other fastening methods but nailing seemed like the right thing to do in this case. So these are nailed onto a furring strip and really there's air on all sides of this board so any movement on this board is not going to show and again, you want to make sure that you're getting all six sides of your CTOL on this. A couple of the things to notice, uh, all the soffits on this job are also that Douglas fir. The fascia boards are also Douglas fir, and they still look fantastic a year later. One other quick thing to note, it has nothing to do with the siding, but uh, I love these recessed in boxes. This is by Arlington. It's actually a double outlet electrical box and you can see how little it sticks out. We talked about painting these, this is the white color. Uh, we left alone as white, but look how minimal that is on the outside face of this. This smooth stucco is just the, uh, the natural concrete gray color. Here's your slab foundation, and look how high up that wood is starting. So if there were any sprinklers or splashback or anything that's gonna happen, it's gonna splash against our concrete and not against our wood. Really, everything came together to make this a very durable, very long lasting. Uh, product or install. And again, I really like this CTOL 123. Thanks for joining me, everybody. We'll see you next time.